Barriers, you have to stay in. Because if you go out, you've entered the prohibition. So he told Jibril again, Jibril, go and have a look at paradise. So Jibril alayhi salam came and went and had a look at paradise and came back and said the second time now, Oh my Lord, by your honor, I am afraid that no one will enter it. And when Allah Ta'ala created hellfire, he called Jibril, Ya Jibril, come on and have a look at hellfire. So Jibril came and had a look at hellfire and what Allah has prepared for its inhabitants. He went back to his Lord. Oh my Lord, by your honor, anyone who hears of it would stay far away from it. Then Allah Ta'ala created or surrounded around the what? Lust, desire, things that the nafs is inclined to. You know, sometimes your evil desire makes you want to adopt or confront or apply evil. It always sort of stri wants to, to strive to this evil path. This is the path that surrounds hellfire. Hellfire is surrounded with this lust, with wickedness, with deception, with things that you like but you should not like, things that you cannot do but you want to do it. So Allah Ta'ala again called Jibril, Ya Jibril, come and have a look at hellfire now. Jibril came, alayhi salam and looked at hellfire and came back to Allah Ta'ala and said, Oh Allah, oh my Lord, by your honor, I am afraid that no one will avoid it. I am afraid that no one will be able to be safe from it, escape from it. These are hadith, brothers and sisters, beautifully capture the test of life. Beautifully capture the test of life. Hellfire is a slippery downhill slope. You know when you slip, it's hard to sort of stop yourself from slipping. Consider yourself on something slimy, downhill. You keep on rolling. You cannot stand after you sleep if you fall down. This is hellfire. It is slippery downhill slope. Once you're on it, it's hard to get off it. It looks good, attractive. It promises you instant satisfaction. It makes you feel good this path. Because it's things that the soul, the desire, the mischievous desire in you would like to implement, would like to do, but you shouldn't do. So once you're on it, it's hard to get off it. Unless you have true faith in the Almighty Lord. It makes you feel good this path. But we ask the drug addict, the drug addict, when he's on drugs, how does he feel? He says, I feel great, I feel on a high, I feel comfortable. However, I believe he of the ruin that awaits them. This path, dear brothers and sisters, is the path of consumerism, materialism. It is a path that promises, promises liberation from all obligations, from all higher authorities and thus it makes you believe that you are the slave of your own desire. It makes you believe that you have no Lord except your desire. Whatever your desire pleases, whatever your desire wants, you adopt. Eat, drink, be merry, you only live once, make the best of it. This is what the evil conspiracy out there is destroying us Muslims with today. In contrary to this path, this path that leads to eternal doom and gloom, eternal damnation, eternal de destruction, is no doubt the path of paradise, which is most definitely the path which is uphill. Hellfire is downhill, paradise is the path uphill. However, as we learn in the narration, it is surrounded with what? Hardships, difficulties, things that you might not want to do, but you should do. But how long are you going to do it for? For only a limited time. The time will end. It would soon end. So be patient. This is why this path needs 
sacrifice. This path needs self-control, disciplines, and needs patience and perseverance. And needs hard work and firm commitment upon the obligations, the worship, submission to your creator. It needs the sacrifice of temporary satisfaction for eternal satisfaction. It is a pave, a path that is paved by stumbling over blocks and hardship. But you get there. You will get there. Allah Ta'ala has promised this. For every believer, he will eventually go to paradise. Brothers and sisters, what is this world? What are we doing in this world? Are we really enjoying this life? Are we content? Are we believers? Are we Muslims? Do we really love the one that created us? Do we really love Allah Ta'ala? Are we sacrificing our jobs to come and learn Islam? Are we sacrificing the hours in the morning which is most dear to us to sleep in to come and learn Islam? Are we sacrificing things which are futile and trivial, worldly pursuits for the sake of eternal bliss and gardens of delight. Paradise is the home for every believer. Paradise is our home. This is not our home. This is only a, a stop, a station between our life in this world and the life in the next. Brothers and sisters, Allah is the all just. And there is no one more truer than the Almighty Lord. Do not think of yourself as being fooled or oppressed or wronged. Work hard. Love Islam. Be Islam. Live Islam. Sleep Islam, drink Islam, stand in Islam. With the flag up high, La ilaha illallah. Let us be Islam Muslims when we die. Let us be ready for this day. Let us not be like Harun Rashid. Let us not be like people who did not prepare themselves. You know, we work hard every day, every night, every day, every night. What are we doing? Work, yes, work is worship. But many of us, our whole life is work. Our life from morning to night, seven days a week. Bro, come to the lesson. I've got work, that's the excuse. We should live Islam. We should live our lives around Islam, not Islam, around our lives, meaning around our work, our worldly life. Islam should be on top. It is the pinnacle. It is the crest, the highest. It is the summit. It's a pivot. And everything rotates around it. Not it rotating around anything else. That way, you make sure your agenda is, I've got a lesson, oh, I cannot work, I've got a lesson. I cannot sleep, I've got a lesson. I cannot eat, I'm fasting. I cannot drink, I'm fasting. That's how you should be doing this yourself, working your agenda. But today, it is the opposite. We are not doing this. We are not preparing ourselves. We have not bought this ticket, which is a ticket of death, the one-way ticket yet. But when you buy this ticket, the one-way ticket, no return, one way, it's for free. Doesn't cost any money. This ticket is for free. Every single one has it. You have this ticket in your pocket now. Every single one 